on doing what you do doing what you do I like that guys this is one of my favorite uh, songs I'm allowed to use on YouTube it's uh, you know it would be used I, I get a lot of different of my songs and sound effects and stuff that I can use uh, so if you do videos go check out epidemicsound.com and no I will not be uh, you know, making anything off of this for you using any of their music. This is not affiliated with any type of affiliate program or any of that stuff. If I ever had something like that, I would tell you about it. Um, let me first get started by thanking all my subscribers out there. Every single one of you guys out there are absolutely amazing. Uh, Kim, Jerry, Justice, Dragon Slayer, all you guys out there. Every one of you guys are absolutely the best and you guys mean the world to me um, I'm glad to be here as always I I, uh, I love talking to you guys I love doing things that I can do to make you feel better about who you are to make you uh, you know feel better about what you might be doing or what you're going through just to let you know that you're not alone you're never alone when you are a part of this channel you're a part of something that's bigger than just being a channel. It's more than just being about just me and about just you and about just being subscribers. Uh, this channel is like home to me. It's a place where I, I, I feel very comfortable with talking and, and uh, letting out how I feel about different things. Um, and, and as someone had said earlier, even your friends can disagree, um, and that is so true. That is so true, guys. Uh, you, you've got to have disagreements every now and then. You know, life isn't perfect, and anybody that wants to say that it is, that wants to try to paint this perfect little picture, they are usually the ones that end up hitting the ground much harder than what we do, right? Because that's the reality of it. No, nothing is perfect. Nothing. Uh, there, there's only one person that is perfect. And that's God himself. And uh, if anybody wants to doubt me on that. Well by all means go ahead. Uh, you know what. We all have our own beliefs. But I am a believer in God. And I'm not afraid to admit that. Um, so. You know. Be yourself. Never try to be perfect. Try to be good at what you do, but don't try to be perfect. And uh, on this podcast, we're going to be talking about self-esteem and motivation and things that we can do to better our lives in general. Things that we can do to get through situations when we're not sure how we're going to do it. Um... Uh, and I'm also going to be covering a little bit about um, those of you out there that might feel alone, that might have went through a rough relationship, or that might have went uh, just went through a divorce. Um, because I've been down that road too. And as all my subscribers know, my main goal is to be there for you guys. Because if I if I didn't do that then what would, what would be the purpose of having this channel? How many of you agree that there are a lot of YouTube channels, a lot of YouTubers that, that put on a mask and, and pretend to be something that they're not? How many of you would agree with me on that? Uh, if you agree, I, I would appreciate it if you would go ahead and hit the like button right now. Just go ahead and tap that like button. Um, and this is going to be my way to get my feedback from you. So you might be, uh, you know, <clears throat> wondering why. But 
it kind of helps me know who agrees with what I talk about, okay? And there might be other scenarios in the conversation when you might not hit the like button yet, but then later on you're like, you know what, I agree with that. Bam, I'm going to hit that like button. So, anyways, I'm going to start off by talking about self-esteem. Um, something that can destroy you if you let it something that can destroy you if you let it how many of you out there if someone was to come up to you and say something to you about the way you look how many of you would it affect So if I walk up to you and said, you're freaking ugly, bro, would that bother you? Any of you that are nodding your head yes or saying yeah, you know, it affects me when people say things like that to me. Look, I know that the world can be very cruel. I I do know that. But what I can tell you is that the minute you stop listening to other people, it's the minute that your life will get better. The minute that you start believing in who you are is when your life will get better. Now, I did an exercise with some people a while back and it turned out pretty good. It turned out pretty good. Uh, This is about a year ago uh, and then I had them go and do a survey for me after they went through this exercise. Uh, that we went through for about a month, month and a half. And this is, I'm, I'm going to do it again. And I want you guys, those of you that, you know, might have that low self esteem or those of you that might not believe in yourself as, as good as what you should. This is what I want you to start doing. Okay. And, and, and it might sound silly to you, but please, trust me. Will you trust me? Will you trust me on this? Because I promise you it will make a difference in your life if you just, if you just trust me. Give me the chance to prove to you that I'm right. That it will help. So those of you that feel that way, those of you that, that just... When you wake up in the morning, you, you, you're just automatically, you know, dreading the day and, you know, you're, you're, you're feeling bummed out about yourself. You're feeling bummed out about your job. You're feeling bummed out about who you are. I want you to do this for me. For the next three weeks, four, if you can get through it, at least three, I want you to wake up. Every morning, don't skip out. Don't tell me that you did really do it when you didn't. Because nobody is going to see you do this. Nobody is going to hear you do this. So you don't got to worry about embarrassing yourself. Right? This is a healing process for you. I want you to wake up every morning. Right when you... Put your feet on the floor from your bed. I want you to tell yourself a couple things. I want you to tell yourself that today is going to be a good day. I want you to tell yourself that I am a good person. I am beautiful. I am smart. I will get through that test. I will get through this job. I like my job. Today is going to be a good day. Tell yourself positive things. You don't got to say it out loud. You can, you can if, you, if you want to. Or you can just tell yourself. Another good way to do that is, is go to the bathroom, look in the mirror and tell yourself. Talk to yourself. Nobody's seeing you, so... What does it matter? If nobody's seeing you talk, what does it matter? 
I want you to try that. I really, really honestly want you to try that. You know, when you start believing in yourself and when you start actually caring about you instead of caring about someone else's thoughts or words, everything changes. Everything changes. Right? Let me ask you something. Have you ever been to a ball game? And you're you're sitting there and everybody's clapping and cheering and you're joining right in, right? And you feel good, don't you? You feel good. You're feeling good because of everybody around you. Right? You're not there sad or hating yourself. You're clapping and laughing and having a good time. And you're doing that because you're in the moment with everybody else. But you can do the same thing without one person being there. And you can still be just as happy, just as excited, just as enthused. By doing it yourself. I'm telling you, my friends, your own motivation and self esteem and belief in yourself is the only tools that you need to get through the day. And I believe in you. So give me the respect that if I believe in you, then you believe in you. Okay? I'm going to get your food here. Sorry, guys. Um, Do that for me. Do this exercise for me for three weeks at least, please. In three weeks, I'll come back. I'm I'm, I'm going to give you a URL, a website that I'm going to have you go to. And then I'm going to ask you to complete the survey. It's confidential. Nobody, nobody else knows what you say or any any of that. And it's nothing, you know, personal. Is in like your social security number. Or give me your credit card number so I can order me all kinds of Christmas stuff. Nothing like that. But do that for me, okay? Now I'm not saying everybody out there is it's got. Poor self esteem. This this is for those of you that that might believe or feel that you're no good, or feel that you're never going to be successful, or feel that you're ugly, or feel that you're not smart, or feel that you know uh, you you know those hating your job or you, just in general. Okay, I want you to do that for me, and I believe that that you. You know, you will see once, you know, a few weeks go by, even a week later, you're going to see the difference within yourself. But you really got to mean it. You really got to be into it. It's not like going and and acting out a movie. I don't want you to act it out. I want you to really do it. And if I can believe in you already, give me the respect and, and... Start believing in yourself as well, okay? Um, what I want you to do now is is go get yourself a drink, uh, whatever, you know, a cup of coffee, uh, a glass of wine. Of course, I... I I don't drink wine unless I got a date, and I don't have a date, so unless you plan on saying you're going to have a glass of wine with me, we got to throw that out, so, but give yourself a couple minutes here, I'm going to play, I'm going to play another one of my epidemic sound, uh, uh, epidemic songs for you, and, uh, we'll, we'll, um, start the next part of this. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Be sure to share and help build this channel. Also, be sure to try to follow me on uh, Spreaker. 
okay? I need the followers on Spreaker as much as I want them on YouTube. It gives me an idea of who is listening and, and all that stuff. All right, so. So give yourself about three minutes and we'll start again. back guys and uh, hopefully you got yourself some coffee or uh, whatever it might be some tea some you know I don't know a, a soda some Kool-Aid whatever right got you a glass of water I don't know whatever it is you drink whatever it is you like um, I hope that the last thing that we uh, talked about I hope that some of you find that uh, helpful to you and uh, I hope that you can can use that uh, to your advantage and, you know, uh, make some progress with that. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is, is just relationships in general. Um, it's so, it's so much different than what, what I used to see when I was younger. Uh, some of you might be already saying, yeah, you're right. Um, it's so much different, it seems. Um, so many people are about the materialistic things, you know, and the, the, the fancy cars and uh, the, you know, well-fit muscular bodies and uh, the, you know, real athletic women and men and 
you know, it, it seems like there's a lot of that these days. That if a person has one downfall, then guy or girl is like, I, I can't be with that person because they'll make me look bad. They'll they'll make people will make fun of me because I'm with this person or that person. Let me tell you something. That is the wrong way to live, my friend. And it's not just women. It's also men that do the same thing. Uh, it's, it's not just one person. It's not just women doing it to men or men doing it to women. It, it's both. That's right. I, I admit that. Um, personally, myself, I, that's, that's, not, that's not how I uh, look at things. But... For a lot of a lot of men out there, it is. Um, you know, if if the woman doesn't have the right kind of hair or the right size, or you know, well, I can't be with her. My friends would make fun of me. Um, in my case, I have experienced uh, the situation to where uh, a girl would, you know, like uh, my past uh, relationship. I was with a girl, and she ended up leaving me for for two reasons. The first reason was due to me being visually impaired. That was the first reason, and the second reason was because of me being a little bit older than what she was. Her parents didn't approve of it, and the the funny thing is. Her parents was supposed to be, you know, these really full flesh Christian people. And to my face, they treated me good. I was invited for dinners. They made me dinners. They let me work on my vehicle at their house and all this stuff. And I felt so good. I was like, man, for once, finally, I have been accepted. And then, bam, out of the blue, reality hit. And it was, you know, six months in to the relationship and and uh, my my uh, niece was the one that introduced me to the person. So she felt bad. She's like, oh my gosh, I feel horrible for what she's done to you. And I said, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Um, it's because of being judged for the wrong things. Well, I can't be seen with this guy because people are starting to realize that I'm with a guy that is blind. But before that attitude came across, we had so much fun together. She would, We would go to uh, different uh, uh, parks and ride roller coasters and go to the water park and all this stuff. She had no problem holding my hand and 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 at some point it's dragging me along, you know, trying to hurry up and get to the ride on time. But that it was great. It was great. And all that came to an end because of those ridiculous reasons. And if you're one of them people that do this, if you're one of them people that judge like that, I'm going to let you know that what you're doing is more than just ending a relationship or whatever it's it's also hurting the other person uh mentally and emotionally it you know it, it doesn't feel good when someone does that and you should keep that in mind that if if that person makes you happy then it shouldn't matter what anybody else thinks if that person makes you feel good about who you are and that person shows you that they really love you and that they're there for you and that you know uh it's the kind of person that is a real means for a relationship that really shows that true honesty and love and and all this stuff right then there's no reason to to go about it and say well no never mind my friends don't my friends are going to make fun of me or laugh at me or joke about it and talk about me and all this because then we're 
ridiculous childish reasons, right? So think about that before you ever decide to do that again. Or if you never have, then that's great. Um, the, and there's so many, like I've, I've met a lot of, no, I don't want to say this where it sounds wrong. I've met a lot of women that would say, and not relationship-wise, but just in general, met women and spoke with different people. And, you know, some of these women would say, oh, I would never do that. I'd never be that way. And there was a couple cases where the, the ones that said that, uh, they ended up being that way, right? They, they wasn't that way until, you know, they were approached by someone that, you know, felt a certain way about them. And um, it's like, oh, well, no, 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 no. You know, throwing up these silly excuses and stuff like that. Um, so be be true with yourself and, and, and be true with others. And those of you that, that do go through this, listen, I know that sometimes it can feel like it's taken forever or it's not going to ever happen, but I know that it will. You, you've just got to be strong about it and be patient about it and and one day that person will come along in your life and you will be happy you will uh, because I, I feel that I really feel that everybody at one point or another finds that that one person that that is just a perfect fit perfect relationship right so never get down on yourself because of someone that ever might, you know, act that way towards you. So, always, always stay confident about who you are. And, uh, you know, again, never treat someone that way, ever. Because it, it doesn't make a person feel good, right? So, anyways, um... I hope that you guys found some value in this uh, short podcast. And I was going to carry on more of the topics I discussed, but I don't want this to be an hour thing and it end up being to where after so long people just get tired of, because I know how that is. I, if I listen to a podcast too long, I'm like, when is this ever going to end? So I don't want to do that. So keep you guys on your toes. Um, I appreciate all you guys. I I love every single one of you guys out there. And uh, again, please help me share this channel as much as possible. Tell your friends about me. Tell your your family, your your cousins, your aunts, your sisters, your brother, your mother. Uh, You know, uh, just help spread the word because uh, that's that's what it's about. I want to bring in um, new subscribers as much as possible and and build up. Uh, you know, build our family of of great people. Um, someone had said, you know, no, you don't have thousands of subscribers, but the ones you do have, they are all sincere subscribers, and they're all honest subscribers. And and I believe that because everybody that has ever commented, you know, I I can tell because. 90% of the comments are coming from subscribers that's been with me from the start. And, you know, that's that's what it's about is, you know, um, having fun, being there for each other, helping each other, supporting each other. So uh, be sure to, to share this channel, okay? Um, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'd like to know from all of you that are listening... If this was helpful to you, or if you just enjoyed it, even if you wasn't going through these type of situations, um, hit the like button to show me, you know, some response to uh, whether this was, you know, a good podcast or not so good, or don't ever do a podcast like that again. Um, The likes to tell me that it's good, and the dislikes to tell me no. Not so good. Uh, now I know I've got... There, there's someone out there. And there's always going to be someone out there that's going to hit that dislike button. I, I know that. But um, I think the, the those of you that are true, it will always out, outnumber the ones that are 
just doing it to be uh, a-holes. A-hole. All right, so like, share, subscribe, and uh, remember, guys, that everybody deserves to be happy. And I hope you guys are able to use that exercise we talked about at the beginning of this podcast for those of you that might be going through them types of situations. And we will talk to you very soon. Until next time, you guys uh, be safe. Stay out of trouble. And if you, you do anything horrible, just don't name it after me. I'm just kidding. You guys keep on doing, 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 doing what you do. I'm out of here. Just keep on doing what you do, doing